Hey guys, welcome back. So it's currently 12.30 in the afternoon on a Friday, so it's a little bit noisy outside at the moment. Not the most ideal time to film. I don't usually start this late in the day, but I actually spent my morning at the Fenty Beauty launch, which I am so freaking excited about. I actually had a dream <laughs> that I missed the launch, and in my dream it was like 10.30 in the morning and the launch was actually like this morning at like 8 a.m. we had to be there. And in my dream it was 10.30 a.m. and I was like, oh my God, what the fuck, we missed it. Like how did we sleep in this long? I spent my morning happy as Larry swatching all of the new Fenty Beauty products. Guys, honestly, if you were following me on Instagram, you would have seen all the products. They are so beautiful. I actually had foundations dripping down my arm because I was swatching that many. I had a really difficult time actually picking my foundation shade because there was just so many colors that I was like, oh, like which one matches me the best? She launched 40 foundation shades. A brand will come out with like 12 foundation shades. I'm like, oh my God, 12 foundation shades. Like this is the best ever. I had it ever fucking skin time. If Brianna can come out with 40 foundation shades on her first launch of her brand, the rest of you guys need to step it up. I honestly think she's set the standard for all brands now. I feel like, if a brand isn't coming out with at least 20 or more foundation shades, it's kind of like, what the fuck are you doing? They did gift us a little goodie bag with some items in there. And then, and then when we finished up, it was just before 9 a.m. So I actually hung around for another 10 minutes until the store opened and I actually purchased some of the products as well because I wanted to get a foundation and I got a couple of other products. So I have two bags full of goodies to show you guys. Like I said, a couple of these things were gifted to me and then the other ones I purchased myself. Also, this isn't sponsored or anything like that. Like I effing wish Rihanna hit a girl up. I just wanted to be one of the first to get this video up. So yeah. We're gonna have a little play, try everything out today. I really just wanted to do a first impression with you guys. I'm just gonna jump straight in and take my makeup off with some makeup wipes. These ones are real, really, really cheap. I probably wouldn't get them. They're probably really bad for my skin. Look how red my face gets. I've got really frigging sensitive skin, guys. <laughs> I've like always been this ugly. So I'm pretty sure everyone was gifted the same thing from the event. We do have the Fenty Glow, which is her lip gloss that she came out with. They also gave us one of the little Invisi Matte blotting papers. And we have the Freestyle Highlighter. This is Trophy Wife. And then I have one of the little Matchstick Trios. So those are the things that I was gifted. And then I went back into store and I purchased some stuff myself. So I got her primer and I believe the kind of focus of this brand for Rihanna was like complexion because she always has like a stunningly flawless complexion. So I really wanted to get that. And then I got two foundations in the shade 240 and 190. And then I also picked up another highlight. This is the shade the Lighting, Lightning Dust and Fire Crystal. So they're like little duo highlights. When I purchased the stuff, they gave me like a little tester pack. So I believe when you purchase something from the brand, they give you a little sample and this just has a few of their foundation shades and then the primer as well. So one thing I am obsessed with, with this brand already, is the packaging. Look at that. Look how aesthetic that is with my background and then my shirt. This shirt's from Misguided, by the way. It's the Barbie collection if you guys are interested. But look. Oh, bitch. Yeah, bitch. This is really nice. Like, it's just, oh my god. Gold. Everything has pumps as well, which I'm obsessed with. I just think the packaging is impeccable. I love how basic the Fenty Beauty little logo -age is. Like the N is backwards. Mm, I love it. So I just pumped out some of the primer onto my hand. It has a really nice smell. It doesn't smell fragrance. It just kind of smells like the smell of the product, but it's nice. And when you touch it, it kind of feels almost wet between your fingertips, like just really moist and dewy. I hate the word moist, but it just feels kind of, yeah, just ever so slightly damp, if that makes sense. It's not very like liquidy, like it's not dripping off my hand or anything. So it is quite thick, but in a very thin kind of consistency, it feels really hydrating, which is very interesting because this is called the soft matte Primer. I don't really know too much about this, but on the side of the box, it says smooth pore diffusing finish and it extends your makeup wear. Oh, that feels so soft and cooling. Feels really nice on my skin. From 
far away, it kind of looks like it's refined my pores, but I don't know if I'm just like making that up. I feel like it kind of blurred my skin out a little bit. I don't know, I didn't really look at my skin up close before I applied the primer, but it does look a little bit nicer than it did. I'll have to look back at this when I'm editing the footage, but let me know like what you guys think. If you think that it made my skin look a little bit nicer. I feel like it got rid of my redness a bit. Is that like, am I just like, am I crazy right now? Am I crazy? I don't know if that's just the contrast of like my face going really red when I was rubbing it in and then looking in the mirror and thinking that it's whiter, but I don't know. I feel like it's made my skin a little bit less red. I actually feel like it has evened up my skin tone, kind of blurred my imperfections a little bit, gotten rid of a bit of my redness and just kind of all over gave my skin a bit of like a filter. It looks matte where it should be matte and it looks dewy where it should be dewy, which sounds crazy, but like, I don't know, can you guys see that glow right now? I really, really like this primer, guys. I'm just putting it out there straight away. First impression, L-O-V-E, loves it. Loves, loves, loves. And it's called Soft Matte and I feel like that really describes what it feels like and looks like on the skin. Like my skin feels really, really soft. It feels like, it doesn't feel as bumpy as it usually does. I don't know, am I on crack right now? I feel like I'm on crack right now. Anyway, we're gonna jump in and start trying out the foundations. Like I said, I have two shades here and I actually noticed that it was oxidizing on my hand. So we'll see how this goes today. I got the shade 240 to match me when I am freshly fake tanned. I honestly think this would be a tiny little bit too dark when I'm fake tanned, but there was no in-between shade that would perfectly match me. So I thought I would go a little bit lighter, a little bit darker, and then I'll mix them. And I also got the shade 190, which is a little bit too light for me when I am like freshly fake tanned. So I feel like this would probably match me best at the moment. It's probably what I'm going to use today. If you guys are curious about what shade I wear when I'm fake tanned, I'm usually in MAC foundations, roughly like an NC25. So here we have 240 and this one is 190. So you guys can see straight away that this is a very runny foundation. It's very liquidy. So 240 is very warm. 190 is more on the neutral side, but it is still nice and warm it's not like too neutral so on the side of the box it says that this is a medium to full coverage foundation which is meant to be aimed at all skin types it's long wear and it's meant to be as light as air that's the exact word it says the light as air i'm just gonna use my sigma flat angled kabuki f88 brush i do have a code with sigma it's just casey Rayton, and that will get you guys 10 percent off anything you want to pick up that is an affiliate code so you don't have to use it but you can if you want to Test up to you guys. So I've just pumped two pumps of foundation onto this brush. That looks like a really good color actually. For like my skin tone at the moment, that looks really good. Oh my God, that looks beautiful. Ah, oh, what the shit? That looks like there's a hair in my mouth. That looks amazing. This is blending out so beautifully. I have used three pumps of foundation now, so I do feel like my brush is kind of sucking it up. When I did this part of my face, I did apply it straight to the brush because I was getting my little clickbaity Instagram clips. But then I just pumped a little bit onto my forehead. I did a full pump and I feel like it's not blending out as far as I would like it to. The shade is a perfect match for my fake tan right now. I'm actually really pleased that I got this one and I'm glad that I got the darker one because then I can just kind of warm it up a little bit when I'm a bit more tanned. That looks incredible on my skin. Oh my God. I feel like I've been reborn. I've been reborn. Rihanna has blessed my face with her face. Rihanna put her own skin in this bottle and just made it my shade. It's just Rihanna's face on my face. This is magic, this is witchcraft. So I'm just blending out the left side of my face with a beauty blender now. This is one pump and it's actually gone a lot further than the right side of my face. So I will say I do really like this. I like I prefer it with a sponge than a brush. I feel like my brush was kind of weirdly sucking the foundation up. I think it's oxidizing a little bit. I don't know if you guys can see the difference between this side, which was like fresh foundation, and this side, which has kind of set a little bit now. It's kind of gone to like a more peachy sort of shade. It's very, it's like pretty much matte to touch. It's like you don't need to wear a powder with this by the looks of it. Like 
I don't feel like I need to powder my face, which is crazy, but it still looks really luminous, but in a matte kind of way, if that makes sense. It doesn't look dry on my skin or like, it still looks like skin. I feel like it's just evened out all of my skin texture, all of my skin tone. My skin just looks really, really healthy and beautiful and nice. And I don't have nice skin. I don't have bad skin. I don't really get acne or anything, but I have redness. I have little blotches here and there and I have a lot of texture and it's very, very sensitive. So it just gets irritated so easy. And the fact that this has just made my skin look like absolutely flawless like i don't use filters or anything on my videos guys so i have you guys zoomed in and i've got my exposure turned down so hopefully you can see like what my skin actually looks like up close it is pretty textured it's not the prettiest skin ever but this foundation actually makes my skin look amazing so we're just going to move on to trying out the conceal contour and highlight match sticks trio so they're really really cute they're magnetic I love the packaging. It's like a little hexagon. That's a hexagon, right? I love that they all stick together. So you like you can travel with them all stuck together if you wanted to do so. We could just leave them standing together. So we do have a highlight shade, a contour shade, and then like a glowing kind of highlight shade. The packaging of these actually really, really reminds me of the KKW Beauty contour sticks. Just like the nude kind of packaging, you know what I mean? Like the color scheme, the little like tubies that they come in so that is all the product that you get that's it wound up straight up to the top so that feels really creamy on the skin i don't know how it will go like i guess i can kind of highlight with that i'm gonna drag it out and we'll just see how it goes i can't really get into my inner corner though I feel like that blended really pretty. I mean, it was very similar to like my skin tone. It's pretty good. It's pretty like, good coverage, I think, for like a stick. So I will say that blends out really, really nicely. I'm just not really a fan of like stick concealers. So that's why I'm kind of a little bit quiet because I'm just sort of testing out how it goes. I feel like it's pretty good coverage, to be honest which I was not expecting. It did feel like it was tugging a little bit underneath my eyes when I was applying it, but it wasn't like tugging intensely or anything. It was just a little bit of a tug. And then once I started working the product and warming it up on my skin, it kind of loosened up a little bit more and became a little bit more like soft, I guess, creamy. I'm gonna try out the contour shade now, which is the shade Mocha. So it does tug a little bit on my face, but it feels very creamy at the same time. That's so creamy. So I'm just gonna use my sponge to blend that out. That's blending out really beautifully. That is a nice contour stick. It didn't pull off any of my foundation, my foundation didn't pull off any of my foundation where I applied it and it's not like getting streaky or patchy or anything like that. I feel like I have a really hard time with like my cream contour sticks pulling off my foundation, getting like weirdly patchy and just kind of bleh, just gross. Oh my God. That is so, oh. What the, what it? Can you see that forehead? That forehead, that blend. I don't have no bronzer helmet and you guys know I'm so guilty of a bronzer helmet. I feel like I put quite a lot of that on as well and that just, look at my forehead. That blended out amazingly. I'm gonna try out the highlighting shade now. I'm tripping. This is the shade tripping and I'm tripping. I'm tripping balls because I'm so impressed with everything. I think I'm just gonna apply this straight to my cheek. I'm like scared. I feel like it's tugging. Is it tugging my foundation off? It doesn't seem to be pulling my foundation off. This is more of a blush on me. I'm going to use this as blush rather than as highlight. Because it's a little bit... It's like a really pretty iridescent kind of color. But it's definitely not a highlight on me. I don't feel like that's pulled off my foundation. But I am feeling like I'm really having to like get up on there to get some color. It's not like as 
mm, as I thought it would be. I'm gonna use my fingers. It's a really cool like orangey, gold, peachy kind of color. You definitely see it on my cheek, just not as like intense as I would like it, I guess. I'm not like super in love with that one. I think it's really pretty, but I can't really like see it on the skin too much. So I'm not like obsessed with that one. It doesn't, it doesn't have me tripping, but I could just be using it wrong. I have one of the highlights here, which is, oh my God, this is beautiful, you guys. Can you see that? This is the shade Trophy Wife. I'm obsessed. Like, just a look at this. That is the most stunning freaking thing. That is so, it's so glittery and pretty. If you don't like glittery highlights, I don't think you'll like this. It's not chunks of glitter, it's just tiny little pieces of glitter. It literally looks like money. And like when I touch it between my fingers, it is very creamy and smooth and buttery. This is what the packaging looks like. Really, really love that. The really cute like little octagon, oh, the little slip dropped out. Little octagon packaging, really, really sweet. This one was gifted to me and then I actually purchased the little highlighting duo. So these are really beautiful champagne sort of pinky highlight tones. Swatching the one that looks really shiny and glittery in the pan. And then I was swatching the more matte looking one on my pointer finger. And then that's what they look like. This is the more satin and matte looking one in the pan. And that is like the most beautiful glossy looking highlight I've ever seen. If you're someone who wants more of a natural glossy looking highlight but still pop, like this is for you. And this one's the more glittery kind of one. So it's a very similar finish. It's just a little bit more shimmery and shiny so you guys can see it's just more, a little bit more metallic and the other one is a little bit more sheer and skin like so the more matte side that i like is oh god it's one of those i never know how to read these i think lightning dust and fire crystal is that like if you flip it this way lightning dust fire crystal i'm going to use my sigma powder sweep f06 brush um i really like this for oh, get out of my way I'm gonna dunk my brush into the more matte looking shade, the more one, the one that was like a little bit more glossy looking. Oh, damn. Oh! I think, I think, I think, glob this compared to this. Like, this is dewy and beautiful and pretty. Look at this. That's like the more natural looking one. Imagine what the like more metallic one looks like. Oh my sweet baby Jesus. Sweet little baby Jesus laying his crib. Oh my God, this is everything I've ever wanted in a highlighter. It's not accentuating my texture. It just looks beautiful. Okay, I'm gonna dip a little bit into that more metallic one and we'll just... Oh, okay, I'll go a little bit Tin Man. Let's, let's just even that out. If you guys like super intense highlights, you're gonna die. Insane in the membrane, so beautiful. That metallic one would be beautiful on its own. On top of the other highlight, it's a little bit too much. All right guys, so I just quickly did a little bit of eye makeup off camera and I did my eyebrows as well. I just used the Urban Decay Naked Heat Palette and don't even ask me like what this eye is at the moment. It looks terrible, but I just quickly slapped it on there. So I've decided I'm going to just use Trophy Life. I cannot even get it open. These are really hard to open. Just on the inner corner, I think, because I recently did a look where I did gold over my entire eyelid. I will link it. Uh, I'll link that down below for you guys if you want to check it out. But yeah, I just don't want to do another fully gold look just at this present moment in time. So I'm just gonna dip in with a Sigma E30 pencil brush. I'm just gonna get a generous amount and then just pop it on the inner corners. Oh, you guys can't even see that, can ya? Oh, that's so pretty. I feel like I have to try it a little bit on my face, just a tiny bit. So, I'm gonna just take the lightest amount, like just one little tap on that same brush we used before. I'm scared. Oh! 
Holy shit. All right, I'm just gonna wipe it, spread it around with my finger. Oh my God, you guys. You guys. All right, what's left over on this? I actually like how it looks, like spreading it with my finger. Like that just kind of transformed the other highlight into a really beautiful champagne gold kind of glowiness. A little bit goes a long way. Don't go too crazy with it. I know I didn't like fully test it out, like putting a lot on, but that was crazy pigmented. I feel like you can really see the gold, like, oh, so nice. I'm going to use this Essence Lip Liner in the shade In The Nude. This is the best lip liner ever. I swear to God, I don't know why I stopped using it. I think I just kind of forgot about this lip pencil when I started YouTube. And then now that everyone's kind of talking about Essence again, I was like, oh my God, I used to freaking love this lip pencil. I always wore it when I went to uni. It's definitely not as creamy as I remember, but I kind of like it. Kind of reminds me of a MAC lip pencil now. But I'm basically just lining my lips with that, just so I have a little bit of definition before I go in with the gloss. This is the best because it's just, it's two dollars. It's two bucks, guys. So we're gonna use the Gloss Bomb Universal Lip Luminizer in the shade Fenty Glow. This is supposed to like work for all skin tones, which is what the girl was saying when we were at the launch this morning. It's meant to just be a really universal lip shade, so I'm very excited to try this out. Ooh. Oh, that smells really good. It smells like candy. Oh my God. What does that smell like? Oh, it smells like Zappos, I think. Zappos, it's like Zappos. It's kind of like a raspberry Zappo. I don't really know, but it smells incredible. Mmm, that feels nice. I am not a gloss fan. You guys know I don't really like gloss. I just don't like how sticky they are. This is kind of sticky, but not stick your lips together sticky. Kind of just like a nice everyday kind of lip shade. And I think I get what she means with this will suit all skin tones because it's kind of like a universal lip shade. I personally like glosses when I blot them a bit, which is what I'm doing now. See, that's how I like to wear my gloss. Like, so it just kind of looks like lip balm. Cause I don't like the look of like a really glossy lip. I just don't think it suits me. But that is really nice. It feels really hydrating. And it feels like it would last on my lips a while. I've had really, really dry lips lately and this just feels really, really nice. Not a huge fan of the gloss because I just, I'm not really a gloss fan, but I think if you like lip glosses, you'll like this. It's kind of like a your lips, but better kind of shade. So that's pretty much it for this video, you guys. Overall, I'm very, very impressed. I don't know if you guys could tell throughout the video. Everything far exceeded my expectations by a mile, dude. This brand is lit. I really love it. I love the foundation so far. It still looks so beautiful on my skin. I love the primer. I really like the little contour sticks as well. I'm sorry, there was like some semi-trailer going past my half. I really like the highlighters. They are so beautiful. The only thing I didn't really love that much was the gloss and that's only because I'm not really a gloss person. But other than that, Everything was really freaking nice. Overall, huge thumbs up from me. In terms of pricing, I think it's pretty fair. The foundations are 50, the primer was 46, the highlights were 50, and I can't remember how much the little trio was of the contour sticks, but I will leave that listed in the description box for you guys. The pricing is really similar to MAC pricing, so if you guys are familiar with that, and that was Australian dollars that I was just giving you guys. I spent $196 Australian in total, and I bought one, two, three, four things. So two foundations, a primer, um, and a highlight. It is like a high-end price tag, but this is a high-end brand, but I still don't think that it's crazy expensive or too much or anything like that. But yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say. This brand should be live now for you guys to purchase online. The Fenty Beauty website, from my knowledge, does ship all around the world. So yeah, you guys can buy directly on there. Otherwise, I'm pretty sure Sephora will be stocking it online as we speak as well. So I will leave everything linked down below for you guys and you can check it out. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. Join the fam. Um, and yeah, I will see you guys in my next video.
Who invented that? The fuck? When I do my intro, I just want to kill myself sometimes. <laughs> I just sound so stupid. It feels like my tongue is pulling out when I do that. Ah! Ugh. My eyes look severely hooded today. <laughs> the stringy piece is getting stuck between my teeth when I did that. Ugh. I look like a piece of shit. My voice is really deep right now. <coughs> <coughs> what happened? What happened to my eyes? My head does not look good today. I've got a bad head today. I look like an actual nun with my hair like this. I look like a nun. If you know what happened in my trail. I just need some water. <coughs> I actually have no neck. Just a head and shoulders. Oh, that is flat. Really flat. Who the fuck's the rest of my fucking neck? I need some water. Let me just go get some coke. I just feel like I have a lot of saliva right now. Saliva? Saliva. Make sure that I. Oh my Jesus. Oh my goodness. Gonna pump out some of this channel. This primer. <laughs> Hashtag health. My ear is buzzing. You know, like that loud, high pitched frequency you get in your ear sometimes? What the heck? What is wrong with my brain hole right now? Wait, that didn't work, did it? Maybe I could just do them all at the same time. Do you reckon I could do that? I totally could, right? Highlight, contour. Totally good. Okay, so I have the gloss. 